Hello everyone. I would like to share something with you that the Holy Spirit was talking with me today. Now I've been in this study all day long. The Holy Spirit has been flowing. Amen. In the book of Revelation chapter 9 and verse 14, we see the four angels that are loosed from the great river Euphrates. Uh, now let me stop there and tell you what the Holy Spirit said about those angels. He said, none of these angels are military angels. They are captains of the Lord's host. They were high-ranking officers that fell, that rebelled against God and joined forces with the devil. He said they are bound in the great river Euphrates, and when they are loose, they will go out and move the armies against Israel because that is what they do. They are militant. They are the captains of the Lord's host that fell and rebelled against God. The Holy Spirit says when that great river Euphrates is dried up, John is seeing Russia and China uniting with Iran, Syria, Turkey, and Jordan to move against Israel. The Holy Spirit said in Revelation chapter 7 and verse 1, John sees the four angels. That's right. He's a looking at those four angels that just came out of that great river Euphrates standing at the end of the world. And they're holding back the wind. And the, and the Holy Spirit said the reason why they're holding... Let me not get excited, Lord. Let me stay calm. The reason they're holding back the four wind is because the angel is putting the seal of the God of God on the servants of God. And the Holy Spirit said to me, he said, those four angels are about to be loosed upon men. And the angel that ascends from the east is telling those four angels that came out of the river Euphrates, hold back until I seal the servants of God on their forehead. When I put that seal upon them, reason why they're getting sealed, because those four angels are not to touch those that have been sealed Revelation chapter 7 and verse 2. The angel cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Hurt not the earth nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our God in their forehead. Read the book of Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4, 5, 6, and 7. The Holy Spirit said, I said, uh, ain't the uh, 144,000 supposed to be martyred? He said, indeed they will, but it will not be by the four angels that are loosed out of the great river Euphrates. It will be the beast that makes war with them and kills the 144,000. It will not be the four angels that are loosed. He said, these four angels' purpose is to, to gather Russia and China with Iran and Syria and Turkey and Jordan to move against Israel. He said in the book of Revelation, chapter 9 and verse 20, what John is seeing is a chemical weapon. That's right, because John says it's a plague. The Holy Spirit of God spoke to me, and he said in verses uh, Revelation 9 and 18, John is seeing a plague. Revelation 9 and 20, he says it is a plague. The Holy Spirit said, John doesn't know what a chemical weapon is. He has never seen chemical warfare. John doesn't know. All he knows is it's a plague. And it was a plague that was poured out upon men, and it came from these this army. Yep, they're going to, and the Holy Spirit said, these nations will use chemical weapons against Israel. Now, I'm going to tell you something the Holy Spirit said. He said that John is seeing a new weapon, uh, and he's seeing the fire that is coming out of this weapon. And the Holy Spirit says, it will be a new weapon of a blue flame. I said, i never seen a blue flame before, my Lord. He said, it is a new weapon a new technology that is indeed coming. And that's what John is seeing. He is seeing the brimstone, the sulfur from the brimstone being a chemical weapon and seeing the blue flame. He said he is seeing. Now listen to this. Let me establish this word with you. We finna, we finna go. This is some good stuff right here. Boy, that's from the Holy Spirit of God. In Genesis 19 and verse 24, God rained on Sodom and Gomorrah brimstone and fire the, from the Lord of out of heaven. Here we go, church. Deuteronomy chapter 29, verses 18 through 29. Read all of that. God is talking to Israel. He is warning them that if they turn away from their God and serve other gods as a nations, and in verse 22, he will plague them. In the book of Exodus chapter 7 and verse 14, the Holy Spirit said, Do you see the plagues that hit Egypt? 
He said, Psalms chapter 78 and verse 19, he said, God cast upon Egypt the fierceness of his anger, wrath, and trouble by sending evil angels among them. That is what is will be moving against Israel in the last days. But Israel will not see the angels. They will only see the armies gathering together against them. They'll see the weapon, the chemical weapons being poured out upon them from their enemies. But they never will see the angels, the Holy Spirit said. And because John is in the spirit. See, John being in the spirit, he gets the best of both worlds. He can see it in the spiritual, and he can see it in the flesh. In the natural, he sees it in the army. But in the spiritual, he sees it being angels that are moving these nations. Here we go, church. Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 23. The whole land thereof. He's talking about Israel, church. He's talking about Israel. He said, the whole land thereof is brimstone and salt and burning, nor any grass groweth therein like the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. We see the two witnesses are killed in Jerusalem where the Lord was crucified. The word says spiritually it is called Sodom and Egypt. You know the sins of both of these nations because of idolatry and their sins will rise. We see in the book of Revelation chapter 9 and verse 17 the brimstone. Verse 18, by these plagues were the third part of men killed. That's right, church. That's what the Holy Spirit of God was revealing to me today. I'm here to tell you that war is indeed coming to Israel and America. And that was given to me by the Holy Spirit of God. And the Holy Spirit was just showing me today that John does not know what these... He does not know what he's seeing. He's trying to describe it the best of his ability, church. He's 2,000 years ago. He's never seen weapons of mass destruction. He's never seen chemical weapons. And that's what John is seeing. He makes it perfectly clear. He calls it a plague. He's calling it a plague because it is a chemical weapon. That, and then he also sees fire coming out of the, the horses and, and talking about what the beast looked like that he saw. He's only describing uh, weapons of mass destruction to the best of his ability. But one thing John had that we didn't have, John's also seeing this in the spiritual and the flesh. He, sees the, uh, he also can see those four angels. And he knows those four angels because they were once military angels of God that fell from heaven that are maneuvering the armies and the nations together to move against Israel. May God go with Israel. I mean, the things that I know that's about to happen in Israel, if I was Israel, I'd go into the mountains right now, and I'd go into the other countries. I would get out of Jerusalem if I were you, because if you knew what I knew, I'd go right now if I were you, because your enemies are going to move against you. Russia and China will join with Iran Syria, Jordan, and Turkey to move against you. These Arab nations are going to unite uh, with the, uh, your other enemies. But listen, church, this was something the Holy Spirit made clear to me. Let me get this going. Russia and China are doing this for money. They're doing this for uh, economic reasons. They're doing this for greed and for power. Iran and the Arab nations are doing it because they hate Israel. Uh, they believe that Israel is on their land. They believe that Jerusalem belongs to them. But we all know it does not. We all know that Jerusalem was given to the Jews. They are the seed of promise that was promised to the children of Jacob, the children of Israel. Uh, they are the seed of promise. And uh, we know that Jerusalem and Israel does belong to them. But what is going to happen to Israel the reason why all this is coming upon them, because when Jesus visited them, they rejected them. They rejected him. And uh, we are seeing the word of God being fulfilled before our eyes, because I promise you these nations are plotting and planning to move against Jerusalem. And they will. And they'll move against them with weapons of mass destruction and also chemical weapons. And when I saw this church one today, I just got through talking to Preston a while ago. And I said, Preston, I've been with the Holy Spirit of God all day. I said, I just uh, quit studying just a few minutes ago. i just been in the Spirit with him all day. And he's been showing me amazing things. I got to see the four angels, militants, military, captains of the Lord. I saw their weapons that they were moving into the nations. These are rebellious angels. 
that rebelled against God, that they were so powerful, God had to bind them. Church, that's why those angels are in the bottomless pit. They are violent. They are all moving the nations to war. And if you think those four angels that are loose, wait till those that are loosed in the bottomless pit. It will be all out war. And let me tell you this before I go. The Holy Spirit of God said to me, He said, I promise you, Donna, that before the end, the devil and his angels will do all they can do to destroy this whole earth to escape their judgment. That is their last plan. And they will take the battle to the heavens to battle against Jesus Christ before he comes down into the earth. Principalities and powers to stop Jesus from coming here so they can escape their destiny. Well, their destiny is to burn in the lake of fire. And we know that the word of God has already been finished because God finished it on the seventh day. Amen. God saw the beginning and he saw the end. Everything's already been done. It's already been finished. It's just got to go in its time and date that it is to be finished. And we know that we are on the winning side. God bless you, church. God bless you.